Hello and welcome my dear grade 9 elite students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming all my grade 9 elite students to the end of term 3 math exam coverage. Today we are covering part 1 learning objective 4. It's an important video and one of the most requested video on my channel so it is a must watch video. Make sure you watch it till the end and let's move on to learning objective 4 and see what we are covering today. So in today's video, we are going to focus on learning objective 4, determine if a function is 1, 1 and on 2. And for that, we are going to solve each equation for the given variable. So how do we solve these linear equations? If you look at questions 5, 6, 7, 8 carefully, you will see they have multiple variables. For example, question 5 has two variables A and B involved. Now out of these two variables, the one for who we need to solve this equation is b that means we need to find the value of variable b now the rule that we are going to use for solving all these questions is very very simple we are going to isolate or keep alone the variable that we are solving the equation for that means if i'm solving question 5 equation a equal to 3b plus 9 for variable b I'm going to keep this 3b on this side and move everything on the other side. So I need to move uh, number 9 from right side to left side. And when I do that, the equation changes in this manner. 9 becomes minus 9 because it moves from right to left and 3b is as it is. Now I need the value of variable b. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 so that this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled and we have the value of variable b. So what we get from this equation is that value of b is going to be a minus 9 divided by 3. So that is your answer for question 5. Let's do one more question so that we understand the concept nicely. So in this equation on question number 6, we have variable w and variable v, out of which we need to solve for v. That means v is the value that I need. Um, v for value of v, we, I need to solve this equation. So I'm going to keep this V here and I'm going to uh, solve for V by isolating this V. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And when I do that, this 5 gets cancelled. So the left hand side of the equation becomes 15W minus 10 divided by 5. And that is what is the value of V. Now I can simplify this equation for V by dividing each term 15w and minus 10 individually with this number 5. So I can write this in this manner 15w divided by 5 minus 10 divided by 5. So the final answer comes out to be 15 divided by 5 that is 3w minus 10 divided by 5 that is 2. So v is going to be 3w minus 2. That's the answer for this question. Next, we move on to question 7. This is quite simple. We need to solve for x. So I'm going to keep this x here and move the y on the other side. So this gives you 3x is going to be 4y plus 8. Next, we divide both sides of the equation by 3 as I need to isolate variable v. And that is uh, what leads to cancellation of the 3. And what we are left with is the value of x equal to 4y plus 8 divided by 3. That's your answer for this question. Last but not the least, we are going to move to the question number 8. So here we need to solve for D. That means I need to keep this D here and move the F on the other side. So this gives me D divided by 6 is going to be 4 minus F by 3. Now, there is one more step that we need to do in order to get the value of D. And that is we need to multiply uh, the right side of the equation by 6. And why do I do that? Let's see the logic. So d on the left side is divided by 6. So in order to get rid of this 6, I need to multiply both sides of the equation by a 6. And when I do that, in the next step, 6 and 6 gets cancelled and I get the value of d. So my d is going to be 6 multiplied with 4 minus f by 3. And now I just use distributive property, open the brackets, and get my answer as 24 minus 6 multiplied with f divided by 3. So it cancels and what we are left with is 2f. So the final answer is d is going to be 24 minus 2f. So here I have given you all the answers for question 5, 6, 7 and 8 of learning objective 4. 
with that we have completed today's video which was basically on part one learning objective four and we have solved here questions five six seven and eight so i hope the video was useful for you and if it was give it a thumbs up share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more math revision videos until then this is mr chika signing off from today's session see you in my next video bye bye